Hi, I'm Jeff Marshall, and I've been asked to tell the history of how our law firm got started. I grew up in north central Pennsylvania in a town, Lock Haven. My dad sold clothing and my mother was a substitute teacher. After I went to college and did a tour duty in the Army, I graduated from law school at, in California at Stanford in 1972. And I continued to practice law then, or I started to practice law in California. Uh, and I worked mainly for corporations, trying to get a little bit more money for this corporation from that corporation. It really didn't have a lot of meaning for me, and I really wasn't very happy practicing law in the 1970s. Also during the 1970s, my mother got subject to a, a chronic illness. Uh, she needed long-term care and assistance uh, provided primarily by my father. And here I was, a lawyer who graduated from Stanford Law School, and I really didn't know how to help them. Long-term care was so complicated. Uh, the financial issues, the emotional issues, the where do you find a, how, how do you determine what's a good nursing home or assisted living facility? And it was so complicated and I felt badly that I couldn't help my father more during that difficult time for our family. When my mother passed away in 1979, I decided to move back to Pennsylvania and forego my career representing corporations and live near my father so I could spend time with him and try to find a legal path that had more meaning for me. I decided to try to help people who were in a situation like my mother and father were in, to help people where one of them had an illness and needed long-term services and, and supports from their family or from outside professionals. Now this wasn't a legal field in 1980 when I moved back here and a lot of people told me I was crazy that you couldn't really practice law especially in a small town environment. I was living in, in uh, Pine Creek in Jersey Shore at the, at the time. Uh, but I thought I'm going to persevere because I think this is something that people need. They need help, they need legal guidance, they need financial guidance when a family member gets sick and is sick for a long period of time. So I tried to learn everything I could about the issues that were facing older adults, about Medicare and Medicaid and veterans benefits and Social Security, and I spent years doing that. In 1987, I came upon a, a group of people just, just forming, of lawyers just forming a group called the National Academy of Elder Law Attorneys. And I went to the first meeting of that group and, and joined it. There were fewer than 40 of us at the time across the country. And they coined the name Elder Law. So I finally had a name for what I was trying to do, uh, how I was trying to help people, Elder Law. So I became an early practitioner of Elder Law back in the 1980s and through the 1990s. I added uh, a lot of people uh, uh, to the firm who were wonderful people, who weren't really legal technicians as such, but they were social workers and nurses and, and people who could help families deal with the multiplicity of problems that you have when your loved one needs care over a long period of time. Uh, I became pretty knowledgeable and pretty well known. I even wrote a, a book in El on elder law. This, rather mammoth thing that took me several years to write uh, that is used throughout Pennsylvania, has been used throughout Pennsylvania ever since by uh, lawyers getting into this field, which is now a pretty well-established field, so I, I feel real good about that. I have been blessed to have some wonderful people working with me, uh, not especially Tammy Weber and Matt Parker, the, the two lawyers uh, who joined this business with me. Uh, we've had a wonderful uh, opportunity to do something that really makes a difference in people's lives. I've met many wonderful families, and I feel that over this more than 35 years that I've been doing this, I've actually been able to, to have an impact for the good for a number, of, a number of people who are really in dire straits. So I feel good about my career, and that's the story of how this law firm came to be. Thanks for listening.